Connor Morkov is putting on the pads as the goalie in a little two-on-two -two road hockey with his older brother Aiden and friends. It's hard not to notice the big scar on the back of the nine-year-old's head. 25 stitches, he proudly proclaims. You see, Connor is an extraordinary youngster. He spent a good part of 2016 in a battle just to survive. Connor first noticed things weren't quite right when he began experiencing double vision, a problem glasses did not solve. My mom saw me blinking a lot. I went in for an eye appointment and the doctor said I have a brain tumor. So he sent us down to the hospital. A CT scan at Kelowna General revealed a very serious problem, a condition called medulloblastoma, a form of brain cancer at the base of the skull that can spread to other parts of the brain and spinal cord. Medulloblastoma is a brain tumor that is along the cerebellum or around the cerebellum of the brain controls function of balance, coordination. In early 2016, Connor and his mom moved into Ronald McDonald House, and that began numerous rounds of radiation. They made a mask for me with this material, but they also made this mask for me to take home so it was less scary. And I had to wear it because I had to stay super still. He never said, I don't want to do it. He understood he needed to do it, so that was never a problem. Getting him there was never a problem. The technicians that we dealt with every day were phenomenal. It was a tough go for Connor. 31 radiation treatments, six 28-day rounds of chemotherapy, and 25 blood platelet transfusions. But staying at Ronald McDonald House and going to BC Children's Hospital was a real blessing for this family. As a parent, you've got people you know in both spots. As a child, you've got friends in both spots that you've made you know, throughout your time at each, and it's been really comforting. Judging by his sturdy goaltending on this day and his desire to do even more sports, it's fair to say this young lad is once again healthy. But they will monitor him until 18 at least and then after that there's still longer term adult follow-up that will happen. I'm playing soccer. I'm the goalie I think um, and I'm feeling good. The family will never forget the treatment and support they received at Children's and are forever grateful to those who have and will contribute to this cause. You may not think you need it today, you might not need it tomorrow. I hope you don't ever need it. But if you do, it's there. If you've got some spare money kicking around and you'd love to donate to children, this is a worthwhile cause. The smiles on their faces are amazing. They have good doctors and nurses. Sometimes they hurt you, but not usually.